Blue balls. The golf cart. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. Well, I'm just off to drop off another delivery of t-shirts. I got uh, six of them I got delivered today. So we'll get them out of the way to my local friends and peoples. I'm all out of larges again. Frank, everybody's a large. What's really going on? I got the easy go kind of painted. I used that plexi coat paint blue color so I named the easy go blue balls I did welcome blue balls to the family she's a new easy go TXT 1997 36 volt electric cart the paint job eh, it's plexi coat right it looks like rubber guard it looks like I rhino linered my golf cart but hey it is what it is like I said she's probably just gonna be for sale anyways but you never know I might end up keeping it I might fall in love with it and keep it too I seem to do stuff like that with golf carts I'll have to see. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Why wouldn't you? So we're just gonna run into town here, get these delivered, and then we'll come back and see what's really going on. Oh, there we go. All the shirts are delivered. And I thought to myself, geez, it's seven o'clock. Now what's for dinner? Oh my God, poutine is for dinner. We went to the restaurant this time, and we got it. And we got some wonton with jalapenos and sour cream and stuff in it. It was freaking awesome. Could you give me something to check out and try? Hey? I won't see the whole thing. I shared some with a couple other customers in there, but uh, I gotta save some for the wife and the kid. But look at them. Oh yeah, and I got our normal poutine. But anyways, enough of the food, eh? I must be hungry or something. We're talking about food again. Hey, if you haven't tried Oh My God Poutine restaurant, try her out. Why wouldn't you? Hey, Indian Road, Eastland Plaza. I'm at her. Cap. There she is. Blue balls. The golf cart. Cotton. She's coming along good, waiting for parts. But it's the next day, if you're wondering, because that's why I got a black shirt on now instead of a red shirt. But I gotta cut the lawn today. It's a beautiful morning out today. I'm up like super early today. I was up like at six. Should do some weeding. How's the old tomato plants coming? Aw, oh, dick. Oh, look out for the cobwebage. Oh yeah. They're doing good, they are. Eh? It's looking right it is. Nice. Looking for suckers we are. That one's not doing as good. We're gonna have some tomatoes before you know her. Should get the damn van running. It's starting to sink in the grass and it's no good. It's just getting cocked right over. If anybody wants to buy that van, please comment down below because it's for sale. It's gotta go. It's got about a $7,000 stereo system in it. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. You'll get one hell of a deal on her because I just need her out of my hair. She's time to go. Kids just cocked over my lawn. Look at it, they literally tore the grass up. Oh. Man, I actually made a hole there. It's windy out today. Windy, Wendy. Gonna spray some more Roundup in the gardens. I gotta deliver that thing someday. Holy. Let me know in the comments down below what you're doing today, because I always like to know what you're doing. Oh, rabbits are eating up my seeds and everything. You got rabbits and birds. How you doing, little guy? Oh, he's like, how you doing? You having some food, are you? Oh, he's like, Fuck you, I'm out of here. You. I'm out of here. But anyways, there you go. Let me know in the comments below what you think of blue balls. I was gonna try that Plexi Coat Clear in a can. Let me know in the comments if you've tried that stuff because I don't know if it shines it or if it's just a waste of time because I don't wanna waste any more time on painting. I gotta cut taillights in here so all these marks will be gone. And this and that and the other fucking thing. What I wanna do now to the easy go is I wanna take three inches out of the front roof. So it gives you that down kind of slope look, eh? In the front. So what I did was I just took out, took a couple big bolts and I grinded off some of the threads so these slide in. That way it gives me a backing to make sure it's straight. So we'll cut three inches out of the here on both sides because this is the mountain side so you can't cut this side out. And then uh, we'll be able to weld her back together, Captain. So you sit over here somewhere so I'm not grinding the hell out of you. We're gonna move these cushions again and we'll use this glass table to weld on because that's what we do. Nothing wrong with using a glass table to weld on. Actually, I got another welding blanket there. I should throw that on the table, I guess. Wow. There we go, table protection. Friggin' right table protection. So where's my lid? Here it is. So we'll flap this little lever up here, like so. So we'll get the grinder out the F it is. So I couldn't decide whether to take out three inches or four inches. So we better start with three so we don't cock it over, if you know what I'm saying. We're gonna have to do some Makita welding when this is done because we don't want to see this. 
Let me give you more of an angle of the dangle. How you doing? So always make sure you have your safety equipment on, which is Crocs, shorts, t-shirt, and uh, no guard. So make sure you have your safety equipment to do. There we go. There's one. We'll just wiggle this off. Actually, I guess we should finish grinding it, eh? It's not quite all the way through, Captain. Oh, there it goes. There we go. So now that that's grinded off, we'll grind off for three inches. Always try to make sure you stay pretty square. Alright. So there we go. We've got three and three. So there's three inches. So now what we need to do is shove the bolt in. Actually, we should grind that down a little more here. Let's use the bench grinder for that. Well, just jamming into it. So now that we've done that, we've got to grind off this bolt head that I'm going to be using for my lineup tool. So you can stand over there and watch this. I wonder if I should go four inches. Greg, leave a comment down below. Why wouldn't you? There we go. Now there's one piece off. So we'll shove it in here and hopefully it's nice and pretty tight, which it is. Perfect. And then we'll shove this in here. And that will give me a nice straight lineup. See that? That's what I'm talking about. So before we do that, question is three inches enough. So if you drop three inches over this amount of time, it'll probably be perfect because I don't want it too low. You know what? It'll just give it a little bit of a rake look. It's not going to be extreme rake, but we're going to go with that for now. So we'll weld that together real quick. And then we'll move on to the other side. There we go. Hey, get back here. No, don't. So I've been having a little bit of a problem with the old welder here. The old hole bar there has got a little bit of a sag on the dink, so it's causing the wire to wedge up. Come on, Emily, come on. So I'm going to try to wedge something in there and hold that up a little bit, but I'm not sure what yet. One day I build a new cart where it's on a little bit more of a down angle, and it won't get all cocked over. So you got to bear with me on the welding situation here because I'm half blind. So I really can't see much when I'm welding. Actually, I can't see anything. I don't even know if I'm on it. I need to turn this up so I can see. This mask is My mask is broken. We can't turn it up or down. Leave your comments down below and let me know what kind of mask you use. Because I'm going to have to buy a new mask. Did I get it? Not even close. That's not bad. Not bad. The biggest thing when you're welding is to be able to see. If you can't see, your welds are going to be shit. Like mine. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. I'll tell you one thing, she's a little warm in the crotch, but... So there we go, there's three inches on one side. That was easy. Friggin' right, that was easy. I'm going to change this disc because it's pretty much too small. So make sure you unplug your doodad. And hopefully I don't have this too tight. There we go. I'm all out of good discs. All I've got are these massive craft pieces of shit left. I'm not a fan of the Canadian Tire discs, I'll tell you that right now. All right, so same thing. Sorry, over here, apologize. I gotta plug it back in. One. Two. Over here, take off a nut. Stick this in, something happened. Put this, ow, that's still fing hot, Captain. Ooh, we ain't. Ooh. So, this one's a little looser than the other one, so we're gonna make sure when we weld her, we kind of hold her in place a little bit. Something else is going on. Oh, we gotta grind her down a little bit. We wanna make sure she fits flush. You don't wanna be off by a millimeter in height, you know, you'll see that. There we go, that's better. Uh, okay, Frig, we're getting there, Cap. So in all realistically, it only takes about a half an hour to give your golf cart the drop roof look, which ain't bad. All right, so that's that side. We'll flip her over. I don't know why I dropped that on the ground, so I have to bend over. All right, all set. So that's all there is to take three inches out of your roof. Now we just got to get the grinder out and see if it, see how shitty my welds really are. Always make sure you switch over to a grinding disc so you don't kill yourself. There we go. Hope they don't cock you over. Ow, still hot. So there 
you go. That's all there is to taking out three inches on your uh, golf cart roof. If you have a welder, a grinder, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And you don't have to worry about this being, you know, if it's not 100% like this, it's no big deal because when you bolt it, it pulls it in and everything will be good. So that's it. All we gotta do is paint that. There's three inches out. Bob's your friggin' uncle. So now I'll have a three inch down slope of the roof and we'll have to see how it looks when we get it all back together. That's the end of this video. I know it's kind of just a piece together video for you, but that's how it's been for the last day and a half here at Dirty Old Bills. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification. But I want to try to make every video at least one thing knowledgeable or one thing that if I can do it, you can do it too. Or one thing that you know what I'm saying. Love y'all. And until next time, you know what to do for now.